Hello, I'm Viviana and I am a customer solutions manager and I want to show the process of sharing your brand registry with a additional representative. Um, Amazon refers to them as uh, additional agents. This is a very common question that gets asked. Once you've been approved for brand registry, how can I let others um, in on my brand registry um, and allow them to also look at the benefits um, from their account? So including someone in your brand registry as an agent uh, is a process that you submit through the brand registry homepage. This question here in the FAQ uh, really answers uh, a lot of that. Is it possible for agents that represent a brand as well as additional users to get access to Amazon brand registry? And the answer is yes. What they'll have to do is create um, an account. So anyone that you wanna share your brand registry account with, you want to make sure that they also have a brand registry account of their own. And you wanna go through that process by accessing your own brand registry account and here where you see brand registry support, you wanna go ahead and select that and it will redirect you to a variety of different options. But when you're trying to share a role or add someone um, to be able to use your brand registry, you will be using the update portion. So here the drop down menu will show you um, that you can update your profile, um, you can add additional, um, you can fix issues related to user roles. So anything like that um, is where you want to go ahead and make sure to update. Like I mentioned, there are three different kinds of roles uh, that you can have administrator, rights owners, registered agent. So in this portion, you can go ahead and change the contact reason to add user role. You can describe your issue. I'd like to add whatever email uh, address you have for the other person's brand registry. Um, again, here it asks you again, do you wanna add, update, remove a brand registry user account? The user account email is also requested then the brand that this pertains to. So here you'd enter the brand as it was approved in your brand registry and then the role you want to give. So you can give someone a registered agent role, you can give someone an administrator role exclusively. It's entirely up to you, but that is the process of including someone in your brand registry and allowing them access to your brand registry. All of this is done within the brand's registry um, homepage um, and you can access that at brandregistry.amazon.com. It's important also to note that like anything else, um, any other requests that you submit to Amazon, they're going to go ahead and give you a case ID once you hit the send. Um, and when you hit the send, it will start the case ID. And through that case ID, you'll receive updates about whether or not the role has been shared with that additional account that you submitted. So just a, a good way to know about how to add additional users. Um, if you have any questions um, or would like to also check out some of the other very informative um, detailed uh, information on our blog post. We do have a amazing guide out um, for all things related to advertising. So if you want the ultimate advertising strategy for Amazon, um, the 2021 guide, it is available um, on our site and you can download it. So if you have questions about that or brand registry, let us know, comment below. Hopefully we can get you a couple more videos for you to continue learning about brand registry. And make sure if you haven't already, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos.